Uh, my name is Daniel. I'm in my Nagoya workshop. I talked a couple of days ago how to make your violin look uh, old, varnish a new violin that look old. Uh, but this is not so obvious because I want to make it very natural. So I did not do very much. Uh, maybe on the video you cannot see very much. It's very uh, the color shade a uh, little by little like here it's a little darker and this is a li little lighter but it's not uh, you cannot see very uh, obviously you cannot see very clearly that's why I made another violin which you, you can see it very very clearly I show you now this is the violin as you can see uh, very obvious very dark light color and the dark light color here and uh, this violin I show you I started from uh, one color it looked like one color I start violin like this first I varnish it as one color the same color then I build it up these places make it darker Today we continue uh, varnish a new violin that looks old. Okay, these are two violins uh, I'm working on now. This is more like natural old. Uh, this is more like <laughs> uh, I cannot say unnatural, but this is much more showing. Okay, but today what we're talking about today is that um, before we we're talking about uh, first we varnish one color. The same color like this violin you put in the same color okay one color then we build up okay we build up a darker color and build it up um, but today we're talking about punish or sand sand up the violin uh, what's that in English it's called uh, Anyway, I forgot the word in English. I, I can I will write it later. Nihongo wa ano, Nihongo wa ano, kizuru kizuru Migaku 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 migaku. Between varnish, especially after the color, when you after one, two or three times clear varnish. It always leaves some um, uh, brush hair 
or some dirty things, dust on the surface. So if you touch the surface, it's not smooth. Okay. So we need to do the punish to uh, mild it. I, I don't know if it's correct English. Just uh, sand it anyway. But we have to use very, very fine sandpaper. Uh, very fine sandpaper. Uh, should be 600 or 800, even 1000, depends on the thickness of the varnish. And we must uh, soften the paper. Soften the paper, you can put it in the water for some time. Then you start to punish on the surface. Okay? But uh, on the circle, circling, see, until you can see many, many white powder. Okay? You're circling like this. Don't use any force, only circling like this. If you waste water on the surface for some time, the water will also soften the varnish. Okay, as far as you can take the dust, the brush hair, or anything which make the surface not smooth away. Don't take the color away, don't take the varnish away. Okay. This is what you we need to, to do. Uh, not every time between, but after two or three coats of varnish, we should do it once. After we sand it, punish it. Then we use some other material to polish it again, make the surface shining, even, and the job is done. So we're going to finish this violin today. I say it again, this is a final work of varnish. Especially here, you have to go just use that uh, like this. Huh? About the uh, uh, varnish of our ring, if you make if you make some mistakes, don't try to crack them every mistake because especially when it is wet, if the, uh, the varnish is wet, you do another brush, it is more likely you damage the varnish. So don't try to crack the old mistake. Sometimes it's okay to leave some mistakes. Nothing is perfect. The world is not perfect. Okay? especially handmade violins uh, it is normal that it's not perfect of course we do best job we can but sometimes people make a mistake that so leave it there okay leave it there and uh, if you want to correct it correct it after it is dry always wait until it is dry For example here, when we do the color, my student trying to fix it, and the more use the brush, and the color is get, get away, then you cannot do anything anymore. So it's okay to leave it here, just leave it like this, it's okay. It will become the characteristic of this violin. It's not, it is not recommended but it is acceptable. Okay. After you use the tissue, now I hope you can see all the surface are white. White. It's all this small powder. We send it from the surface.
normally uh, we use a triple triple powder as my triple powder is not here it is in Shanghai so I have to use some other material Okay. Uh, the final, we can use some a uh, punish. It's any you, you you bought from any instrument shop, like this. Okay. Same. I I don't want to do commercial for other company, so I don't show the blunt. Just uh, any kind of instrument punish. Okay. Then you just apply to the surface. There are also uh, so-called French punish, but the French punish we mostly use uh, uh, not for all your varnish. It's mostly used for spirit varnish. We use a French punish to do the surface, so the surface will be very shining. It will take all this uh, sandpaper scratch away. Uh, next time, if we have a chance to do work on spirit varnish, I will show you how to do French varnish. Uh, as I said before many times, I encourage my students to use local material. For all your varnish, it's very easy to get in Japan, but not for spirit varnish. Spirit varnish is not available, or at least not easy to get in Japan. This is why. Here we work mostly on all your varnish. As you can see, this is very shiny now. And I try to work on this back to make it shiny. So after finish this, we'll wait for a few days to see if the uh, the sandpaper mark uh, fades away because all your varnish is very soft. It melts from time to time. Uh, basically, uh, the result be like this. Okay, there are some uh, fine, uh, final small work to do, but the result will be look like this. This is the end of varnish a new violin that looks old i hope you have learned something thank you for watching bye bye